Hey everybody, Big V here, it's Verl Workman. Today we're talking teams. And today I'd like to talk about how do we increase revenue for real estate teams? You'll hear me say it once, if you'll hear me say it a thousand times, is that we lead with revenue. What do we lead with? Put it in the chat. I want everybody to say it out loud, wherever environment you're watching this video in, we lead with what? Revenue. We lead with revenue. So I love it when people say, how do I increase my revenue? We increase our revenue by doing dollar productive activities. We don't increase our revenue by doing what a lot of us think is okay. And that's this concept I call wish marketing. Wish marketing is when you go to the office and you hang out with everybody who's not making any money and you really wish somebody would call. I'll tell you what, wish marketing doesn't work and it's not a thing. If you really want your team to grow, you have to have specific ways of generating revenue. In every business plan, I share with you what we call are the four pillars of income. And I'm gonna give you one or two pillars today. I'm gonna give you a free download of some specific things you can do to increase revenue on your real estate team. So how do we lead with revenue? We lead with revenue by remembering these words. Are you ready for the words? Events drive revenue. I say it to my team. I say it to the real estate teams that I coach. I say it to any business that I'm talking to. If you want more revenue in your business, figure out how to be face to face with more people. I love events because events give me the ability to communicate with people in a non-threatening environment. For example, if I call someone, invite them to my Thanksgiving pie event. And the Thanksgiving pie event is for the purpose of giving a pie to all of my clients to say, thank you for your business. And when they pick up a pie, I donate a pie to one of our first responders. I give one and I gift one. So everybody that comes to pick up a pie loves it because we gift a pie in their name. So get one and gift one. It's our pie event. I want you to think about all of the touches that happen because we create an event around giving and making a difference in our community. The first a touch that happens to your clients is, guess what, we announce it. It's the announcement of Pi Day, the get one, gift one concept. And we give them a choice of pecan or pumpkin or banana. They get to choose their pie, the one that they receive and the one that they give. Everybody gets to do that. That's the first email. The second email goes out and says, I haven't heard from you. I wanted to give you a chance to get one and gift one to one of our first responders. You don't get a gift one unless you pick one up. We want to serve you and your family and we want to serve the community. That's two emails and we haven't had anything. We haven't had anything saying, I want to sell your house. The next contact is what we do with our, all of our agents on our team are then required to call all of their people in their top 50 list. They go through methodically and personally invite them to receive a pie and to gift a pie and let them know how much we appreciate their business. You see these warm touches all around an event allow us to stay at the front of the mind of our clients so in the moment that real estate comes up they think of us first. Events drive revenue and we lead with what? We lead with revenue. Now it's Pi Day. And so now what we'll do is we'll have, so we have a team like in Texas that will line up. They have eight or nine wrapped cars that all have their branding and they line up all the pies by the different types of pies. They open up the back. And when anybody comes to pick up their pie, they take a picture of the family picking up the pie in front of the wrapped cars and then they have them posted on their social media. So now we've had conversations, we've had emails, we have a personal touch and a hug or a handshake. We give them a pie and then we gift a pie in their name. When we deliver the pies to the first responders, whether it's the hospital, hospital or whether it's the fire department or police department, whoever you choose, the VFW, whatever you want to support. When you gift those pies, we take pictures of those and we then share them back with our clients and we let them know this is who received the pie as the gift from them. Now, what do you think happens when they receive that picture and video? Then they post that on their social media. Now we've done all of this community goodwill. We've had multiple touches with our clients. We've stayed at the front of their mind. What do you think the chance of generating new revenue is? You would have to go out of your way to be really bad at the business business to not have new business be generated because of this gifting process. Events drive revenue. So when you're looking to create new revenue on your team, think about the events you could do in a year. We have so many ways of doing different types of events. So what are some of the events that you could do? Let me just throw some out and then I'm going to give you a couple of event action plans that you can download just for watching this video today. You can do Pi Day. You heard me where you give one and you gift one. People love that one. I have another team that does what we call Pictures with Santa, where they bring Santa in and those who celebrate Christmas can bring their kids in and take pictures with Santa. The same touches occur and they allow all their clients 
nomads who have their own boutique businesses, maybe an Etsy company, they do jewelry or they do handbags or they do aprons, and they all get to come to this gift fair and they get to sell gifts and they charge a little bit to set up a booth, they cater it, and then the team comes and supports them all and they get their community to know each other. Another event might be during Easter, they do Easter egging where they bring out and they hide eggs around people's houses with candy in it for their families that want to participate. There's another one called booing on Halloween where they do the same thing with Easter candy. I've got a great event where a client will do something with, they do something for breast cancer awareness where they get to decorate pink pumpkins and they have a pumpkin decorating contest around Halloween with all these pink pumpkins that get set up on their office front yard and everybody that drives by sees the big sign about breast cancer awareness as they raise awareness and raise money to donate to breast cancer. Whatever it is you're passionate about, whatever it is that you love, that you want to make a difference in your community. We have people that do pet walks. We have people that do 5K races. We have people that put flags in all of the driveways of their past clients during 9-11 or during Veterans Day. We have all kinds of events. It doesn't matter what your event is. It matters that you do them. You see, here's what we've known. We've learned that events drive revenue. If I mentioned on this video that events drive revenue and we lead with what? We lead with revenue. This whole video is about revenue and how do you get more revenue? You do more events because it's non-threatening sales-based touches and communications with everybody in your database and people love it. When they see that you're making a difference in the community, when they see that you're gonna reach out to them and every time you reach out to them, there's something of value. You're not just trying to sell them something. They're more open to your communication and taking your calls. So I'm gonna give you another resource. Let me share with you this. Let's see, I see I've done pictures with Santa, Christmas craft share, Easter party in the park. We can do client appreciation events. One of my favorite clients, was, it was a guy in Utah County actually, and his name was Brooke. And Brooke called himself the moving realtor. Now think about that, it's kind of funny, right? I'm the moving realtor and everything was dressed like a cow. He wrapped his car to look like a cow. His card said cow and everything on it. And I remember coaching Brooke and saying, Brooke, you need to do a client appreciation event. He said, I don't have enough clients. And I said, well, just do it a backyard barbecue. And so he did a backyard barbecue for his eight past clients and they all came and they got to know each other. The next year it became 16. The next year it was 50. The next year they had to move it to a park. And then he started doing theater days where they would rent a movie on Thanksgiving, they rent out the whole movie theater and everybody would come. His business grew year over year over year being the moving realtor by doing events. So what are the events that you do in your business? Would you like to have a free download of a couple of event strategies and a checklist of how to put on a great event? Well, I'm going to give them to you right here just for watching this video. Remember, it's not as hard as you think. You just have to make a decision, make a plan, and then execute your plan. Events drive revenue. You need more revenue for the team? Do more events. Start with one and then do one a quarter. And if that goes well, then do one a month. Let's do more events. Let's change our communities. Let's serve the people we care about and watch how your business grows as a result.